on the organizing train is how I store and organize all of my linings, my interfacings, my battings, my muslin, all of that kind of stuff. How do I keep all of that organized? How do I keep it in a place where they're easy to find, but um, also kind of out of the way until I need them. And you guys this is like the simplest way to organize this stuff. It's just the way I've had it organized almost from the very, very beginning. Maybe it's only moved around like once, maybe twice. But once I found this system, it's been the same and I haven't changed it. It's worked for me for years and years and years. So let me show you how I do it. Okay, so this is where I keep my interfacing, my batting, and all of my lining. And you guys might think it's a little bit weird to separate them out this way, but honestly, I have so much of a regular fabric stash that having all of this stuff with that just is way, way, way too overwhelming. So I gave them all their own bins. I got these from Target and I got these gosh, six years ago, maybe five, something like that. Um, and they still are producing this little print. So it's in like the kids section if you're looking for it. I'll have it linked below. But then I used my Cricut to cut out some iron on um, labels. So interfacing, batting and lining. And then whenever you go into any of them, you can see that they are organized by type. So I've got everything in here all separated out. So there's no like digging through. I think that that is especially um, annoying with interfacing because it can like, you know, you're just looking for something for a collar, right? You need a few inches of it. And so I have all of that right here. And then the uh, more like thicker foam, um, I have all of that in here. And then my stretch, that's right here. I have my heat and bond tucked away. So it's all organized um, by type. So when I'm looking for what I need, it's really easy just to pull out this drawer, grab the little piece that I need and get to cutting. I used to have some like black interfacing and all of that, but I guess I've sewn it all. So that's another great way to know like where your inventory stands on your um, materials. And then I'll show you guys the lining. It looks like, oh, it's heavy. It looks like this. It's heavy, which is why it's on the bottom of like pretty much closest to the floor. I didn't want this thing toppling down. So you can see I've got them all in here. They're all folded up um, with like, you know, cause whenever you're using like a lining, you can like cut off a piece and now you've got this weird shaped piece of lining. So I tucked them all in, all the little edges nice and neat. And so when you look in here, you can quickly say, oh, this color would look good or, oh, I need this weight or, you know, whatever it is. So I've got them all in here ready to go for my next project. I also separated out knit linings from woven linings. So that's separate too. So they're all in here and that's how I do it. Not super complicated by any means, but I don't normally take this out. Hold on. Normally this one just functions like a drawer and I pull it out just like this. I don't ever fully remove it because it is ugh, so heavy. But um, but yeah, so that's how I keep all of those things. It really works for me, keeps them all nice and tidy, contained their little 12 by 12 cube, and that is that. So there you go. It's not super fancy, it's not super complicated, but it definitely gives each of those items their own individual space where they live, nice and labeled so that I can easily sort things, I can easily find things. And um, it's just really great when I'm in the middle of a project and I'm like, crap, I need interfacing for that waistband. Go to the interfacing bin and there it is. So if you're looking for more organizing tips, be sure to check out the playlist that I have dedicated to sewing room organization. It's going to be up here. Um, otherwise, let me know in the comment section below how you organize all of these kinds of materials that works for you. And that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon, bye.